Okay, so I'm pretty well set up now. I've got my things out here. I've got my ground crew, my wife Martha and my son Matthew, and we are going to uh, go on a flight. We're going to go to the Prattville Dam, the most recognized place in Prattville. And we're going to have an opportunity to fly by. They'll get some ground pictures and I'll get some pictures from the air. And it should be fun. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. The wind is moving pretty good, but not very fast. And so uh, it's going to be enjoyable. I'm going to let my son hold my camera while we film just a little bit of this. And then uh, I'm going to hook up, set everything up, and we're going to be on our way. Did you hold that for me like that? Yeah. A day from the future here. I know it was in the title, but I wanted to remind you that we'll be working together a morning and evening video to give you the sunrise and the sunset views of the dam. All right, good morning. Um, we are out, it's about 6 a.m. on the last day of November, Saturday. And we've got the, uh, get the paramotor hooked up. We've got uh, my wife and son in the vehicle. It's just getting light. You can see that it's just getting light. And uh, so I'm going to do the dam again this morning with the sun facing it from the other side. I should get a lot better pictures. And I'm going to move a little slower on the way. And that should allow my wife and uh, my son to get down there and get on the ground and uh, get some ground videos of, uh, you know, going past it. So I can work those in and I'll put them together in the... Uh, in the video that I send out, which will actually have two flights in it, a morning and an afternoon flight. And uh, all right, so we're set up out here. It's about 15 minutes later from when we first spoke. Still have the uh, paramotor on the truck. I've got the ground crew here with the uh, wind sock. There's no wind right now. There was one we drove up, but not this moment. So we're almost there. And it should be a great morning in terms of the sun being in just the right direction. Already run up the uh, paramotor at the house. Make sure we were good. Came right on and everything was fine. And I've got lots of clothing on because it's kind of chilly this morning. Do you know, we know the temperature? About 48, 50. So we should be good. saying in a previous video that I normally was bending over and uh, almost sideways and of course the gasoline was coming up to the top and that was probably a bad idea. I was smelling gas but I never saw any. This seems to work as well and uh, I'm comfortable picking it up. I've got my GoPro down there on my foot, you see that, because uh, I haven't got an Insta360 yet. When I get one of those, I'll be able to put it on a stick, put it under my myself on my chair, and it'll stick out there, and I'll get a 360 view of our, what's going on. Okay, so one more to hook up. It's important to make sure that these straps are just where they're supposed to be. Otherwise, when you get in the air, if they're not, uh, they're not comfortable, and you have to make sure they're on. You always put on your legs first, then you come to your waist, and then you do your chest. Make sure that it's up good. Pull the choke back here. I don't know if you can see it. But you pull the choke down. And then with both hands, you're able to start it. Like that. And then you run it up. Turn the choke off, set my hands where they're supposed to be with the lines. You have to have a certain hold on the lines so that as they go up, you're all set. Put one finger on the throttle, three on the brake, and then you make sure that the front lines go behind the throttle so it doesn't catch up with the throttle. All right, so today I should be able to step off nice and light 
and get uh, the lift that I want based on uh, based on the wind. You see it there in the flag? Okay, so here we go. immediately as I got up in the air. It's really not very far at all, but uh, it ought to be fun to go take a look at it. a bit and then come back toward the dam. A little windier than I like, but it's fairly linear wind, not a lot of gusts. But there are gusts. But I never, I, I, haven't, I haven't thought about coming down here. I was worried because of the area to land, but it looks like I got quite a big area to land. You can see there with the creek, the Autauga Creek. And so I've been, I've been making really good time with, the, with going with the wind the way I am getting all the way up here so you can see uptown there up that hill out there which I'm facing right now right in the center of the screen and then there is where the football games are played so I'm gonna try and make a turn now and go against the wind and uh, see how comfortable that is you can see that it's a crosswind there shaking me around a bit and now I'm headed back toward the dam and I never imagined that I would get so low or it would take so long to get so low but I think
think the, the water itself is giving me a little bit of, of turbulence. And then the quick air moving below me. So there's no, I don't really have a guess as to whether or not my wife is ready for me or not, whether she's out there to take a picture. But we're getting some pictures. Some people enjoying their afternoon here. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect landing. Everything worked out just exactly the way I hoped it would. So I'm kind of happy and I don't know that I want to go around that river again with all of the uh, with all of the uh, the wind that I just had. I was shake, shaking around more than I, that I was comfortable with. I suppose if I were more experienced it wouldn't have been such a big deal. But uh, um really happy really happy it all worked out for me so that's uh that's today's today's video all right dave from the future here i'm here the next morning and uh the lighting is a lot better the air is a lot better it's a much more relaxing flight now i've already interspersed a couple of uh flybys that my wife and my son took for the day flight because the lighting was uh, so poor on, from my perspective, it looked a little better from there. So I'll leave them out of this section, but I'll let you see what I was seeing a little bit more uh, in the morning because it looked, it looked better. And I think you'll enjoy it.
right, and here's where the view really becomes nice as uh, we turn away from the sun and we're going back up to the dam with the backlight. And uh, so it was much more enjoyable to go up toward the dam this way and enjoy the lighting uh, as it is. I think you'll enjoy it. So it went really well. Uh, again, couldn't be more happy. Short flight, but it took me a little while to get down here. I'd say uh, <laughs> at least twice as long to get down here. But it's nice and light, and it was it was kind of pretty, and it was a lot less windy this morning, but a lot colder. Rainy eyes. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you're interested in flying, give me an email. It'll be at the end of the, uh, of the video. And uh, have a great day, Prattville. God bless.